everybody, Lego Boy Lisa here, and today I'm going to show you how to take apart and reassemble the Rubik's 5x5. And uh, the last time I made a tutorial on this, this is version 2, uh, I was unsatisfied with the results. It was very long and repetitive, and it did not demonstrate how to do it well. So I am going to do another version. And so I'm just going to start, a, start, start off this video by saying... Um, this is very hard to take apart, and <laughs> yeah, if you take it apart, do it at your own risk because it can break very easily. I've actually broken this uh, cube in the past, but I got a replacement part from Human Pie. But anyway, let's get started. So to start, I'm going to uh, get one of these pieces, kind of like open up a gap. Do whatever you can to kind of, there we go, and then just kind of get it like that, and just turn it around so it's like this. And another note, uh, this is, will be a bit stiffer when you get it. I have lubricated mine and it became a bit looser. And so now, since it's like this, uh, you're going to push it with your fingers through into that gap. And I'll kind of open up a little gap right here, or on the other side, depends on how you do it. And just kind of push under, up underneath it, and it will come out. You may me do a bit of fork, maybe misalign the layers a little bit, but after a bit you'll get it out. And so now you're going to repeat that process with these three pieces. And you can kind of move this piece out of the way and make it a bit easier. So I'll see you in a second when I've got that done. Okay, here we go, and you can pretty much do this in any order that you want, but the way I like to do it is get these four pieces out, and then get one on the adjacent side out. Okay, just like that. And now we get the piece that's like in line with that, and then kind of get it to pop out, just like that. And you see, I opened up a little gap there. So, now we need to get this piece out, and this is a bit fragile, as you can see, so be fairly careful, you will have to pull on it quite a bit. And the next piece uh, is this type of piece. It is locked in there very well, so just kind of, uh, the way I like to do it is, once you have these two holes opened up, you see that little piece of plastic down there? Try and get that to come like up, like that, and then just wiggle it around, pull it out, just like that. And now uh, this piece is coming out easily, and you basically just keep assembling it until you've gotten the whole thing to part. Okay, so you take a couple of these pieces out, I find help, I find that to help, and then you just keep on going and taking off all these pieces, and you're going to end up with just centers, edges, main edges, and the corners. Okay, as you can see, I've took out quite a few more pieces, and as you can see now, getting these pieces off is really simple just kind of slide it up into one of these intersections and yeah just keep taking off these pieces. So I'm going to do a little time lapse and you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we've gotten this big thing that basically this looks like a big 3 by 3 and it basically is a 3 by 3 <laughs> If you want to solve it or anything, go ahead and do that now. But we're going to continue taking this apart. As you can see, I'm pushing all the rest of these pieces aside. So it'll be easier to distinguish these pieces from those pieces. And this is, uh, 
This doesn't really come apart like a 3 by 3 because these pieces are interlocked inside of there. And so you're going to have to do a bit of work to get it unlocked. So what you're going to do is just misalign the layer a little bit and then turn this layer just like that. And it's hard to see, but you can see that little thing that locks underneath there. And just pull it out. And then these corners will start to come out. And basically from here, you can turn this layer. Again, it won't fall apart just like a 3x3, but it will. The basic structure is a 3 x So just take this all apart. There we go. And from here, it'll just fall apart. Okay, so here we go. Here's the core. Very interesting looking design. And if you want to take a look at these pieces, they look very interesting too. And you can see how they fit together. And that little lip right there, that's what locks it in. So that's what makes it so hard to take apart. And I, in my opinion, I think I got lucky with that time. So. The way we're going to do this is we're going to put it together just this, just this uh, inner free battery uh, solved, and that will make it so the rest of the puzzle will become solvable. And if you want to just put together the whole thing solved, because this is so awful to turn and you don't want to solve it, or you just don't know how to, um, then you can do that too. But I'm just going to solve it, because <clears throat> I don't want to take the time to fit it in every single piece the right way. So, as you can see, back here, I am laying out all the pieces and facing them towards me. And that way, when I need a piece, I can just look at it and grab it. And so, we're basically just going to put this together just like a 3 by 3 You may have to turn it a little more and... Just uh, put it together as if you were putting together a 3x3. Three three. Okay, so got the last piece. We just have to kind of maneuver it in uh, because these corners stick up more. And so we have to do this, just like that. Lock it underneath uh, that piece. And just, I like putting this side uh, just like this. And as you can see, that little lip right there. There we go. And we have assembled the inner screw by screw. And now, for the rest of the pieces, we are basically I'm going to show you how to do one side. And you're going to repeat that on all the sides except one. And maybe just like exclude a, exclude a couple pieces on that side for all the other sides. And so, yeah. So what you're going to do, and it doesn't matter if you accidentally move this, it's still going to be solvable. Uh, what you do is uh, grab two of these pieces, like this, and just position it, uh, if you're putting it in this way, position it like this, and put it like that, slide it down to there, position it the other way, it's on the other side, you'll be able to figure it out. There we go. Do the same thing uh, for these two, except coming in from the side. Uh, there we go. Now we will grab one of these pieces, the middle pieces, and snap it in. And then get two of these pieces and just 
slide them down in there. Make sure they're in the right orientation so they can do so. Oops, there we go. These two. There we go. And do the same thing up here. This one. This one. There. And here. And then here. And there. And now we'll finish it off with the these last two pieces. And again, on the last side that you're going to do, just exclude those two pieces because it'll make it easier for uh, to do the last, very last side. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, I just uh, did all the sides. And now I just have this little section left. And so what I like to do is first uh, get one of these and put it in the back. And there we go. And now get this one. Yeah, maybe a bit hard to wedge these in here at this point, but it's manageable. Okay, there we go. And now this one, and then I don't know why I'm putting it in over here. Actually, I guess it would be a bit easier. Just slide, put that one in, and now slide it over to here. Actually, never mind that. This sleeved over there, <laughs> and slide this piece back in. Okay, there we go. And now I'll slide this piece back over there. Uh, kind of put this in. in. Let's see how difficult this is for me. And it probably will be this difficult for you too. But it's okay. We manage. And now uh, you can put this piece in next. The big edge piece. There we go. And now we need to put in these pieces. So the first one will be pretty easy. Just put it in and slide it over. Next one may be a bit more difficult because that piece is in the way, but here we go. There we are. And for these last very last piece, we will uh, the way I like to do it is uh, kind of slide it over and pull it apart. And you'll see there's a little there's a little gap like right on the very side. So line it up the way it's supposed to go in. And just stick it down into that slot. And then just push. It's on. And then it'll snap in. And you will be finished. So I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you're having any troubles, uh, leave a comment below and I'll respond to it. And so, yeah. Uh, hope it's helped you and bye.